Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Jessica, aka Honeybee1226, and I'm back again with another video. And um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, if you look on my channel, the last time I did a video was like last September, and it was a coupon video. But you know, I've had a lot of things going on in my personal life. I've been working, and I just really haven't. It's not that I haven't had the time, but just you know, when you have a lot going on, sometimes you're focusing, you just focusing on other things, and you really just don't, you know. Um, <clears throat> Some things you just put to the side. So, but um, I really do enjoy doing videos. And um, it's kind of therapeutic in a way. So, I am going to try to get back into it. Um, but, yeah, I've been going through a lot of changes. Um, I'm no longer married to um, my ex-husband now. If you guys look back, if you've been following me for the past couple of years, you guys know I was married. I have two kids. And um, I've actually done some videos with my ex-husband. We, we are now divorced. Um, which is a good thing, you know, because sometimes things just don't work out. So, and it didn't. And, you know, I'm happy. And that's just that um and I've moved on I have somebody new in my life and that's been going really great so I'm happy about that um I'm still couponing but I'm not couponing heavy the way I used to like when you guys just see me like do those monster hauls I'm not doing that anymore um just because honestly I have such a huge stockpile I have so much stuff I really can afford to take a break from that like CVS there was a time when I was in CVS CVS every week two three times maybe four times a week and I was getting so much stuff like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff every week and basically barely paying anything um you of course you know kind of free but you know you get, I, like I told you guys in past view you still gotta pay taxes and stuff like that but anyway I used to get stuff like free all the time and I honestly I'm at the point where I don't even have any extra care bucks you know what I'm saying and I really don't even think it makes sense for me to I mean I could get the ball rolling again you know by putting in my own money and getting the ball rolling again at CVS to do what I used to do but at the same time there really isn't anything at CVS that I really need you know like if I see something really interesting like a few weeks ago they had a good tie deal on that new tied simply and I had a rain check and it had some good coupons so i think i ended up paying like 94 cents for the yellow tie that, that new yellow simply tied and um, i got like 22 of those i didn't even do a video i you know i just went and got it but other than that really haven't really been doing too much so as far as the cvs hauls i still do go to Publix, but i really am not even going heavy like that anymore um another thing i was going to tell y'all is that my eating habits have changed a lot since um you know since i have you guys last saw me um i don't know i don't eat me anymore or really i don't eat any more land animals i'm now a pescatarian i've been a pescatarian since um december so it's been almost seven months with no meat i mean some people do consider um seafood and meat whatever but um when really meat is supposed to be like the flesh off of like land animals but i mean whatever but yeah i'm a pescatarian and for those of you guys who don't know what a pescatarian is it's somebody that lives a vegetarian lifestyle but they still eat seafood as another source of protein and i've really been enjoying that and i've also um i stopped drinking cow's milk which i'm glad about that too like cow's milk ice cream because um i just anytime i drink anything like dairy or whatever it really makes me sick so and i you know i started realizing that so now i only drink like almond milk and coconut milk which i actually prefer to be honest with you um and i cut back on processed foods big time so with all of that being said of course when i coupon now for groceries i really don't you know go hard buying all that stuff i'm not buying meat anymore deli meats all that stuff box mashed potatoes i try to cut back on processed foods um honestly i do a lot of my shopping now like at farmers markets like sprouts um i go to trader joe's all these and um some of those places do i know sprouts takes coupons but a lot of stuff i i like to get there there are no coupons for it so um yeah but I, like i said i'll still go to Publix and get like juice and cereal and um you know they do still sell some organic they do have organic things that you can get there for the coupons and veggie burgers and stuff like that so but anyway that was just like my little bring you guys up to speed all that stuff i said really doesn't have anything to do with what the, i really want to talk about in the video but at the same time if you already are a, you know one of my subscribers and i just want to bring y'all up to speed on what's been going on with me these past couple months or whatever so but anyway the main focus of this video is on my hair 
Um, as you guys know, if you've been following me for the past couple of years, you know that anytime I do a hair video, it is a wig, right? Well, this time I'm not wearing a wig. Um, this is a sew-in, and this is the second sew-in I've got. I got my first sew-in ever back in May, okay? It's now July. Um, I wish I had did a video on that, but I didn't. Um, I'm also going to do like a little mini rant on the hair I just took out, um, because I did do a video on that, and I never posted it, and I still might do that, but, um, the hair I had installed the first time, I used the Simply, the Outre Simply, unprocessed, 100% unprocessed Brazilian hair, okay, that's what I had the first time, and, um, the girl who did my hair for me, she's great, like, she's a boss, like, her, she, her skills were amazing, she did a great job installation-wise, so that wasn't a problem, but the problem was the hair, the hair, that simply, out, that Outre Simply unprocessed Brazilian hair was horrible, first of all, it's not unprocessed, because when I washed it the first time, a lot of black dye came out of it, so it wasn't unprocessed at all, and um the hair used to tangle up it shed it like crazy for one it shed it like crazy and um it tangled up like really badly like it you i mean you could have just washed it brushed it and just walked out the door and you could have been walking around for five minutes and it was already like all like tangled up into like a big old little ball so yeah i i kept it in for like two months because initially i wanted to keep my hair with the sewing in for at least three months but I just couldn't take it anymore and no matter what I did no matter what products I put in it it really just was good it was getting worse from week to week so that was just like my mini rant if you are looking at the simply um unprocessed hair skip it it was horrible you know what I'm saying it, it really was it was cheap because it was buy one get one free on hairsisters.com but maybe that's the reason why because like I said you get what you pay for so that was a learning lesson so anyway with this hair I have that I'm absolutely in love with and I don't think I'll have any issues with is true from true glory and um there are a lot of videos surprisingly on true glory and I was I've watched a lot of videos on you know true glory reviews um I know people personally who buy hair from true glory and they are wonderful um first of all their prices are very good um there if you live in the Atlanta area um, you guys would be familiar. There's one in Smyrna and then there's one at the Stonecrest Mall in Lithonia that I think is fairly new. Um, I've, of course, I, I live near, I live closer to the one at Stonecrest, so that's the one that I went to. And I actually went there yesterday and got the hair. Um, it's, they start off at $50 a bundle and the, lo the lowest inches they have is 14 And with every two inches, it goes up $5. So I really initially wanted just two bundles of 14 inch and 16 inch but they didn't have any 14 inch at all so I just went ahead and got two 16 inch bundles um and I have a universal sewing just so you guys know that's the reason why I only needed two bundles I've seen some girls do like three four bundles of hair but like I say I don't like big hair I really don't I, I don't like um even though some of the wigs you guys have seen me in the past have been big hair um could it work for me yeah but really I kind of like you know little, you know something a little bit not you know go too crazy so yeah I, I don't like huge huge hair and um i like it to look as realistic as possible and that's what reason for me i like to opt for the universal sewing or the partial sewing or versatile sewing whatever you want to call it they have different names and so and with the universal sewing they basically it, it's a lot of leave out you know so like all of this pretty much right from the from here right down to the center of my head right here where my fingers are is left out and all around here so basically it's like one big circle is left of hair is left out so it's a lot of leave out plus I have my edges are left out as you guys can see and then the back well you know I have hair in the back that's left out as well that way you know if I want to um do a ponytail or whatever I can which I really don't do ponytails too much anyway um, unless I'm going to the gym so that's about it but yeah so um yeah so it's two packs of 16 inch and they were $55 so my total was $116 and like I said the cool thing with the universal sewing is very realistic because you know I really don't like you know a sewing where it's like it's so obvious you know what I'm saying um, like I said, all of this is my hair. There's no closure or nothing like that. I really, I, like I said, I think that's great for people who don't want the, who like the low maintenance and don't want to have to do a whole bunch of extra stuff. I don't mind pressing my hair out, you know, my leave out in the morning or whatever. I have no problem with that. So anyway, 
yeah so that's it and like i said when you do a universal sewing you don't need, you're not going to spend as much money because you don't need as much hair you only need two bundles of hair and that's basically it so and my boyfriend's niece installed it for me and she did a great job and she was very reasonable she only charged me 70 bucks for everything because initially it was like 50 dollars to for sewing and she's like anything extra would just be 20 dollars, and that's cool because a lot of places you go they're going to charge you extra for each each additional thing that you want so if you want um it to be cut that's extra you want you know um to be pressed that's extra anything else that you want so yeah she's really good if you guys live in and she'll actually go to your home so if you guys live in the Atlanta area and you're interested inbox me and I'll give you her information so but anyway um like I said this hair is like so soft and about it it's so soft and light i'm just loving this hair it, it has not shed at all like i just run my fingers through it. it it i just love this hair i really really do um and the cool thing i like i've noticed about this hair is that i just got it installed yesterday so this is just this is like i said i'm going to continue to do updates but yeah i just got this hair installed yesterday and i didn't even wrap it a lot of people said that they wrap their hair before they go to sleep um i really just for me i don't have time i just feel like it's a, a extra headache for me i really don't want to do too much of anything so all i did was just put it up on the tail and just kind of pinned it up and put a bonnet on and i woke up this morning and it kind of just dropped right back down to this it looks just the way it did yesterday so um there was a little bit of a bend from the ponytail that I slept with so I just ran my chi flat iron through it and then that was it so yeah my hair is back like you know and the thing I like about it it feels and looks just the way it did yesterday and the reason why I that's such a big deal to me is because when I had gotten the other hair that mess the simply the outtree simply um I'm 100% unprocessed Brazilian hair that thing it, it it was already the texture of the hair was already starting to change by the next day that's why I understand like the hair never looked the same from the time like to be honest with you when I first got the installation it kind of looked like this at first then by next day it totally changed like I got caught in the rain that day and that evening it got a little frizzy but honestly by next day the whole look of the hair had changed totally like the texture just changed it got a lot thicker and it just wasn't the same anymore and so and like I said the tangling would have driven anybody crazy like and I go to the gym a lot so that does not work for me like I want to be able to go to the gym throw it in a ponytail and do what I gotta do and I noticed that like last week I went to the gym I was doing a spin class had a ponytail and I can actually I was looking in the mirror and I could just see this thing just balling up you know what I'm saying so I was just over it but yeah so that is it um as far as True Glory goes, like I said, they're open Monday through Saturday. They're closed on Sundays. And I think their hours are like from 10 to 8 at night. And, and that's all they do. All they do is sell hair. And it, it's not like they have a, a whole bunch of different type of hair. There's no, oh, I need, you know, Peruvian. I need this. I need that. It, they All they specialize is in Brazilian. That's it. They have the Brazilian straight, the Brazilian body wave. And I think they have some kind of Mal Malaysian deep wave. And that's pretty much it. I was almost going to get the body wave. But honestly, I just want a hair that my hair would have just blended in with perfectly. Because I don't want to do anything extra to my leave out to get to blend in with the wavy hair. Not that, not that I really would have to do much. Because honestly, with the other hair I had, I used to wave it myself. And I really didn't even do much to my hair. I would just let it go. Through. But I just, you know, I just like the straight look anyway. Um, and even with the straight, it'll still, like, if you want to wave, it can. Because, you know, if you just, like, spray it a little bit before you go to bed and, like, just twist it and kind of make a little bun when you wake up in the morning, it will, um, will wave, like, the way you want it to. So, yeah. But, um, I'm trying to think. But, yeah, the store is pretty cool. Like I said, it's all they specialize in. And I told you, I was basically in and out. Um, because sometimes if you go to a beauty supply store, you know, um, sometimes that can be a little bit of a headache, too. But, yeah. And, I, I, and I've always heard, like, not to get hair from the beauty supply store anyway. But, um, but, yeah, anyway. Yeah, this is not a beauty supply store. True Glory is not a beauty supply store. It's a store, but it, it that, that's all they do, hair. That's it. I don't even think they sell closures. Like, it's just that hair those three type of hair and when you go in there they have a greeter and they have some they'll say have some hair samples on the side that you could touch and feel and another cool thing I, I i really what i thought was really cool is that when i told them what i wanted 
um, they actually let me choose what bundles I wanted. So when I said, okay, let me get two 16 inch bundles. She actually took out three of them and, um, she said, you know, pick the two that you wanted. So you can actually pick out, you know, the hair, you know, if you see it, you know, the better of the three. So, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So, and yeah, the customer service is pretty cool. Um, the only thing I noticed is that when they give you the hair, they don't really put it in any kind of special packaging or whatever. They just give you the bundles and they throw it in a plastic bag and that's it. So, it's, it's, it's a real no-frills place. But, yeah, it was pretty cool. So, I don't know if they do hair there because I did see some salon chairs. I don't know if they actually installed the hair there for you. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, so that was basically it. And, um, like I said, my boyfriend's niece installed it for me yesterday. And she did a really great job. And she moved really quickly. Like, she was finished with my hair in less than two hours, which was pretty cool. So, yeah, and she was very reasonably priced. So, yeah, but that is all I have to say about the hair. All I can say is it's only been a day, but I'm really happy so far. I'm going to continue to do updates on the hair um, and so you guys could, you know, see what's going on um, and see how it's keeping up. But, like I said, I know other people who have the hair and um, they've only said good things. Like, I know people who've had it in for months and have had it reinstalled and, you know, and things like that. And another thing is that when my boyfriend's niece install the hair for me she um she did not cut the wefts at all she like did some kind of method where she kind of bends it but she did not cut like you know some people sew your hair and they'll cut it you know which honestly i don't mind but she said you know so that you could keep using it over and over again she didn't cut it so and she just kind of razored it at the front to give me a little bit of layer to, to um you know to blend it with the bang that i already had so yeah but anyway guys that is it um like i said true glory i have nothing negative to say at all if you really want some good hair good quality hair and a good price you need to head on over there because they are really really good so you will be happy like i said and like i said i felt comfortable going there just because i knew so many people who have went there you know that's probably where i should have went from the get-go but yeah so you want some good hair some inexpensive hair go to true glory um avoid um ouchie simply Brazilian hair like the plague just don't even waste your time. I don't care how cheap it is. It is cheap It's you know, you get a bogo online all that stuff. It looks nice at first But you are we will be disappointed. So you need to go to true glory. So but anyway guys, thanks for watching my video Thanks to my subscribers for hanging in there I know my Scott subscribers probably more interested in what I had to say at the beginning because I just want to update you guys on why I've been MIA and um yeah that's about it i'm gonna try to put out some more videos about different things i wanted to do a phase videos and just some new products that i've been using that i really like that i want to tell you all about and um that's about it so like subscribe comment um and i'll see you next time bye